Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another portrait using mainly watercolors but with a twist. We will add another medium in there to add a little bit of gold. Which one? I don't know yet because I haven't started so keep watching to see the final result and we will discover it at the same time. Here's a super speedy sketch. This time the sketching part went much better than the spread you see on the other page. And here's a different setup for once. I visited my dad last weekend and I didn't have my lighting set up, so I decided to paint outside. You can hear the birds and the rain in the background. It was so relaxing. One day I'll have my own little house and I'll paint on the porch every week. But for now, enjoy this beautiful soundscape. Today I'll be using my Chinese calligraphy brushes again. I really enjoyed using them in my last watercolor painting and I wanted to use them again. At first I wanted to try the other brushes from this set because last time I only used two of them, but I found myself using the same ones as the last time. I think that their size is just perfect for the kind of paintings I'm doing in my sketchbook these days. I use one that is a little bit bigger for the majority of the painting and a small one for the details. Now, I thought that instead of detailing everything I'm doing, we could do a special edition. We recently reached 300 subscribers on this channel and thank you so much by the way. And I thought I could do a get to know me slash get to know the artist tag. I found a couple of tags that I mixed and matched. So let's start with the more personal questions. How old are you? I'm 28. I'll be turning 29 next month. What is your middle name? I feel like we don't use middle names in Quebec. At least not as much as in the States. Here, some people have middle names, others don't. In general, people go by their first names and middle names are just a formality on a birth certificate. Usually the middle names are the godmother or godfather's names. If I had a kid, I wouldn't give it a middle name as I don't get why I would, unless I have to by law. Oh, now we are back in my studio. I wish I could finish this painting at my dad's place with the birds, squirrels, and beautiful nature all around me, but maybe another time. Where do you live? I live in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Share your favorite subject in high school. High school was a long time ago, but my favorite classes were art, sport, and biology. What is your favorite drink? Water and coffee. What is your favorite song at the moment? Anything by Billie Eilish. I'm a big fan. Have you participated in any sports? In high school, I used to play volleyball. I was good enough to make the team, but I was always on the bench during the games. In Cégep, which is between high school and university for those who don't know, I started doing Taekwondo. I got my black belt a couple of years ago, and then I stopped. It was too much of a commitment, and I wanted to have time to try out other sports. I started taking dance lessons three or four years ago. I did swing, hip-hop, afro, house, and a couple of other styles. Dance is so much fun. Oh, and I also started going to the gym. What is your favorite animal? Definitely cats. Do you speak any different languages? I also speak French, hence my accent, and I can't get by in Spanish. I can't have a full conversation, but I can ask for directions and to find food. I know enough to survive. Do you have any siblings? I have a younger sister. What is your favorite store? I love going to thrift stores and hardware stores. 
Other than that, I don't really like shopping anymore. Did you like school? After high school, yes, I did. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Some of my favorites are Mini Small, Lee Ellickson, Radia Rotman, Arlie Bean, Jimena Renault, and so many more. I love anybody who has a chill vibe, a nice voice, and an interesting art style. I like watching a mix of art vlogs and painting videos. I'll link the ones I mentioned in the description. What is your favorite movie? I love the Kill Bill series. I just love movies with badass women. I don't watch movies that often, and there's a lot I like, but I can never remember the names. What are some of your favorite TV shows? The Office, obviously. <laughs> there's also a show that was canceled, but that was so good. It's called The OA. I don't know if you ever saw it, but it takes place kind of in the present, but also kind of in the future. And it talks about near-death experiences. It's a little bit paranormal, but it's also science. Anyway, it's so interesting, but it got canceled after two seasons. So sad. Okay, now onto the art questions. What inspired your channel name? It's just my name. I don't know if I should change it because it's a French name and maybe it's difficult to remember. If I do that, maybe I should also change my Instagram handle, which is Laurence Bluff Art. Anyway, I'm still thinking about it. Tell me what you think if you have any opinion on the subject. Now, we are just in time for the fun part of this painting. Well, every part was fun, but I don't usually mix mediums that much, so this felt different. When I saw the reference picture, I immediately had a vision of a delicate portrait in watercolor and a rougher gold crown made with acrylics. At first, I didn't know if I would use acrylic or acrylic inks, but I decided for the former because I wanted to add textures as well. And this gold paint is just so shiny, I had to use it. I used the gold color as is, and I also made some darker and lighter mixes using brown and yellow. I added the highlights with my white acrylic. And I had so much fun doing her makeup. What inspired you to start your channel? I've been watching YouTube videos for a long time. At first, it was more makeup and lifestyle videos. I really was into makeup for a while, and I used to try out new products all the time. I've been interested in making a YouTube channel for a long time, but makeup and lifestyle never felt right. And with time, I find myself not being as interested in makeup anymore. I've been leaning into a more minimal lifestyle, so I don't buy a lot of that anymore. I discovered art videos when I was alone in Japan for a whole summer. I worked during the day, and in the evening, I wanted something to watch while eating dinner. I found art journaling videos, and wow, that was interesting and relaxing. After that, I watched more and more art videos, and that's how I discovered Art YouTube. I started painting again after a long break a little bit more than a year ago. Now, a YouTube channel made sense, and I decided to start one. When did you start making art? When I was a kid, I used to draw a lot. I stopped when I got into high school. This break lasted about 10 years but now I'm more obsessed than ever. Did you attend art classes in primary and high school? I had regular art classes in primary school, just like anybody else, but I remember I took a sculpture class on the weekends for a couple of weeks, and sometimes I had theater classes after school. In high school, I also had the regular art classes, and I took an extra one during my last year. 
Have you gone to art school? If yes, where did you study? No, I didn't. Do you do art full time? No, I work as a freelance photographer and as a nurse right now. I know it's a strange mix. I studied nursing, but I decided to go with photography. I went back to nursing last year because of you know what, and now I work at a vaccination center. I really like it there, so I'm thinking of going back to nursing officially, maybe. We'll see. I would like to do art more, maybe even full time, but I want to protect myself if I choose to do that. I want to keep the passion I have for it. Sometimes when your passion becomes your job, you start seeing it as work only and you can lose that passion. I don't want that to happen to art because it's such a beautiful, stress-free space in my life and I want it to stay that way. So, I'm being careful. What are your favorite art styles? To be honest, I don't really know. I've been trying out new things and switching things up. Right now, I'm really into a sketchier style when I'm drawing digitally, but I'd also love to be able to do a more impressionist style in my traditional paintings. I just know that I am not interested in cartoons. Do you regularly use a sketchbook? Kind of, I guess. I use one of my sketchbooks at least every week, but I wish I could use it every day. Do you have any pets? If so, do you let them in your creative space? I have a cat and I let him come in my studio most of the time. The only time I close the door is if I'm recording and he's hungry. When he's hungry, he knocks everything over to get attention and I don't want him doing that with my art supplies or my camera. I also close the door if I have a painting that isn't dry yet because I don't want him stepping on it. What inspires you? Art YouTube and Instagram inspires me a lot. People there are so creative and it just makes me want to create art. You can only choose one, still life, landscape, or portrait. I know it's weird, but I would choose landscapes, I think. I promise after the 100 head challenge, I'll do more landscapes. Favorite and least favorite medium. My favorite would be watercolor and least favorite would be charcoal sticks. I love painting with any medium, but I don't like drawing as much and charcoal sticks are messy. Maybe I just need to practice more. Let's add that to the list. Do you listen to music while creating? If so, what? Sometimes, but I usually listen to art videos on YouTube. What's your favorite part about your creative process? My favorite part is definitely the painting part. I love mixing colors and applying them on the paper or canvas. What's your least favorite part about your creative process? My least favorite part is the sketch and editing my videos. But don't get me wrong, I like these parts as well. They just are my least favorite parts. Are you more likely to plan your art or just jump right in? If it's a traditional original painting, I'll plan it before I start. I'll play around with the sketch digitally, I'll try out a couple of color palettes, and I'll make a list of the steps during the painting stage, especially if it's with watercolors. If it's a digital painting, a study, or something in my sketchbook, I'll jump right in. How many hours a week do you spend making art? Not enough. <laughs> in a good week, maybe around an hour a day, but that's a good week. Usually, I can spend one or two evenings a week making art and maybe a little bit on the weekend. And sometimes I don't have any time at all. Are you obsessed with art supplies? Oh, yes. <laughs> My obsession moved from makeup to art supplies. I always look forward to my next trip to the art store. There's so many mediums and techniques I want to try out. I don't buy everything I want though, 
because I feel like I don't have enough time to use everything I already have. I would really like to get the basic supplies for oil painting, but I've been waiting for that reason. Do you think someone can naturally be talented at art? Yes, but I also think that with practice, everybody can be good, even excel at art. Why do you make art? Because it brings me joy. Where do you see yourself in the next two years? Oh well, that I don't know. Hopefully in a cute house in the countryside, but other than that, who knows? I'd like to set up a small shop maybe with some of my prints, but we'll see. So that's it for the questions. I had fun answering them and I hope that you feel like you know me a little bit better. I always like being able to know more about the person behind the videos, so I'm happy to do the same. So here it is. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you're not already. Don't hesitate to share any requests you might have for future videos, I will gladly consider them. Take care and I'll see you soon.